Butuan, pronounced, officially the city of Butuan, Butuanan, Dakbayan Hong Butuan, Cebuano, Dakbayan Sa Butuan, Filipino, Lungsod Ng Butuan, or simply known as Butuan City, is a first-class highly urbanized city and regional center of the Caraga region, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 337,063 people. It served as the former capital of the Rajanate of Butuan before 1001 until 1756. The city used to be known during that time as the best in gold and boat manufacturing in the entire Philippine archipelago, having traded with as far as Champa, Ming, Srivijaya, Majapahit, and the Bengali coasts. It is located at the northeastern part of the Agusan Valley, Mindanao, sprawling across the Agusan River. It is bounded to the north, west and south by Agusan del Norte, to the east by Agusan del Sur and to the northwest by Butuan Bay. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 337,063 people. Butuan City was the capital of the province of Agusan del Norte until 2000, when Republic Act 8811 transferred the capital to Cabadbaran City. For statistical and geographical purposes, Butuan City is grouped with Agusan del Norte but governed administratively independent from the province while legislatively administered by the province's first congressional district. Etymology The name, Butuan, is believed to have originated from the sour fruit locally called Batuan. Other etymological sources say that it comes from a certain Datu Buntuan, a chieftain who once ruled over areas of the present day city. According to Datu Makalape, Butuan was named after the wife of Datu Balansag, who was the Tiniente de Barangay of the area before. History Old Butuan Butuan, during the pre-colonial times, was known as the Rajanate of Butuan, an Indianized kingdom known for its metallurgic industry and sophisticated naval technology. The Rajanate flourished at the 10th and 11th centuries CE, and had an extensive trade network with the Champa civilization and the Srivijaya Empire. By 1001, the Rajanate had established contact with the Song dynasty of China. The history of Song recorded the appearance of a Butuan mission at the Chinese imperial court, and the Rajanate was described as a small Hindu country with a Buddhist monarchy, which had a regular trade connection with Champa. The mission, under a Raja named Keeling, asked for equal status in court protocol with the Champa envoy, but ultimately was denied by the imperial court. However, under the reign of Sri Bada Shaja, the diplomatic equality was eventually granted to the kingdom, and as a result the diplomatic relations of the two nations reached its peak in the Yuan dynasty. Evidence of these trading links are in the discovery of 11 Balangay boats around Ambangan in Barangay Libertad, which was described as the only concentration of archaeological, ancient, ocean-going boats in Southeast Asia. Other evidences of the post are the discovery of a village in Libertad that specializes in gold, deformed skulls similar to reports in Sulawesi, and the discovery of many artifacts by locals and treasure hunters. Colonial period On March 31, 1521, an Easter Sunday, Ferdinand Magellan ordered a mass to be celebrated. This was officiated by Friar Pedro Valderrama, the Andalusian chaplain of the fleet, the only priest then. Another priest, the French Bernard Calmet, Bernardo Calmita, had been marooned at Patagonia with Juan de Cartagena for being implicated in the mutiny at Puerto San Julian. Conducted near the shores of the island, the Holy First Mass marked the birth of Roman Catholicism in the Philippines. Raja Colombu and Siayu were said to be among the first natives of the soon-to-be Spanish colony to attend the mass among other Mazawa inhabitants, together with visitors from Butuan who came with the entourage of Colombu, King of Butuan. Controversy has been generated regarding the holding of the first mass. Whether it was held in Limasawa, Leyte in Masao, Butuan City, in the hidden isle made up of barangays Pinamanculan and Bangkasi inside Butuan, in the latest discovered site in between Agusan del Sur and Surigao del Sur, the small barangay of Barobo, or elsewhere. It is sure, however, that Ferdinand Magellan did not drop anchor by the mouth of Agusan River in 1521 and hold mass to commemorate the event which was held at Mazawa, an island separate from 1521 Butuan which, in the geographical conception of Europeans who wrote about it, was a larger entity than what it is now. Antonio Pigafetta who wrote an eyewitness account of Magellan. 
S voyage described in text and in map a butuan that stretched from today. S Surigao up to the top edge of Zamboanga del Norte. The first municipal election in Butuan took place in March 1902 in accordance with Public Law No. 82, which coincided with the American occupation of the place. During the Japanese occupation of the Philippines in World War II, more than half of Butuan, if not all of it, was burned when local guerrilla forces attacked the enemy garrison on 12 March 1943 in the Battle of Butuan. On January 17, 1945, guerrillas attacked Japanese troops on the road between Kabadbaran and Butuan to prevent the Japanese garrison at Butuan from being reinforced. When the guerrillas depleted their ammunition supply, they were forced to retreat. Later in 1945, the Philippine Commonwealth troops in Butuan together with the recognized guerrillas attacked the Japanese forces during the Battle of Agusan. On October 20, 1948, still recovering from the war, the entire municipality was ruined by a fire. Modern era By the late 1940s to the 1970s, Butuan's industry specialized in timber, earning it the nickname Timber City of the South. The plentiful trees of the area invited many investors to the city, and inspired then-Congressman Marcos M. Calo to file a bill elevating Butuan for cityhood. On August 2, 1950, this was passed, converting Butuan into a city. However, by the early 1980s, the logging industry of the city began to decline, although the city was still an economic haven to many investors. The city S main income by that time frame and until this day depended on small and medium business, and large-scale projects by investors. On February 7, 1995, the city was reclassified from a chartered city to a highly urbanized city. Sixteen days later, on February 23, the region of Caraga was created by virtue of Republic Act 7901, with Butuan as its regional center, and the provincial capital of Agusan del Norte. In 2000, Republic Act 8811 formally transferred the capital of Agusan del Norte from Butuan to Cabadbaran, however most provincial offices are still located in the city. Geography Butuan City has a land area of 81,662 hectares 201,790 acres, which is roughly 4.1% of the total area of the Caraga region. The existing land use of the city consists of the following uses: agriculture areas 397.23 square kilometers, forest land 268 square kilometers, grass shrub pasture land 61.14 square kilometers, and other uses 90.242 square kilometers. Of the total forest land, 105 square kilometers is production forest areas, while 167.5 square kilometers is protection forest areas. The forest land, as mentioned earlier, comprised both the production and protection forest. The classified forest is further specified as production forest and protection forest. In the production forest industrial tree species are mostly grown in the area. The protection forest on the other hand, is preserved to support and sustain necessary ecological performance. Included in this are the watershed areas in Tagibo, which is the main source of water in the area, the city is endowed with swamplands near its coastal area. These swamp areas are interconnected with the waterways joined by the Agusan River. Most of the swamplands are actually mangroves that served as habitat to different marine species. Filling material needs of the city are extracted usually from the riverbank of Tagibo River. Others are sourced out from promontories with special features and for special purpose. The fishing ground of Butuan is the Butuan Bay of which two coastal barangays are located. It extends some 2 kilometers to the sea and joins the Bohol Sea. These are the barangays of Lumbokan and Masao. Climate Butuan has a tropical rainforest climate, Köppen climate classification AF. Barangays Butuan is subdivided into 86 barangays, of which 27 are urban and 59 are rural. Barangays 1 through 26 form the Poblacion of Butuan City. Demographics 
with a total population of 337,063 in the 2015 census, it has an average density of 413 persons per square kilometer, higher than the regional average density of 120 persons per square kilometer. Economy Butuan City is the commercial, industrial, and administrative center of Caraga region. It is a strategic trading hub in northern Mindanao with major roads connecting it to other main cities in the island such as Davao, Cagayan de Oro, Malaybalay, Surigao, and soon, Tandig. It hosts one of the busiest airports in the country, the Bangkasi Domestic Airport, serving around 525,000 passengers in 2012. Cebu Pacific and Philippine Airlines are flying to and from Butuan City. Meanwhile, the nearby Nasipit International Port and in-city Masao Port are providing for its shipping and cargo needs. The total number of businesses registered in 2013 was 9,619, reflecting a growth of 9.86% and almost three times that of the next major Caraga city. New businesses registered numbered 2032 with a combined capitalization of P504,598,667, an expansion of 75.63 from 2012. As further proof of its dynamic economy, Butuan City's local income reached P330,510,000 in 2013 besting other major cities in the country. By 2014, its local income is expected to reach P513,870,000.00 or register a growth of 55%, and total income including IRA, will be P1,515,970,000. Butuan City was ranked 4th and 16th most competitive city for the years 2012 and 2014 by the National Competitiveness Council of the Philippines. More than 260 financial institutions are operating in the city such as Metropolitan Bank and Trust Company, Metrobank, Banco de Oro, Bank of the Philippine Islands, BPI, Land Bank of the Philippines, Land Bank, Philippine National Bank, PNB, China Bank, East West Bank, Rizal Commercial Banking Corporation, RCBC, Union Bank of the Philippines, Union Bank, Security Bank and Maybank. Rural banks are also expanding aggressively. Based on a report from PDIC, as of December 2013, total savings deposit in Butuan City amounted to P18,944,854,000, comprising 45% of the total deposits in Caraga region. The Banco Central ng Pilipinas BSP opened its regional office here to take advantage of the vibrant gold trading industry in the region. Insurance companies, led by Philom Life, are also present in the city. The city's major agricultural produce are rice, bananas, coconuts, poultry, shrimp, and milkfish. Its key industries include rice milling, food processing, wood processing, furniture, fuel distribution, shipbuilding, and construction. The manufacturing sector will soon get a boost as an industrial park is currently being developed. Butuan has also proven to be a haven for renewable energy with investments in solar and hydroelectric power generation pouring in the city. Butuan is also fast becoming a cosmopolitan city. Currently, there are three, three major commercial centers catering its populace. These are Robinson's Place Butuan, Pure Gold Price Club, both opened in 2013, and Gaisano, Unipace. Leading mall developer, SM, is expected to break ground by the end of 2016, although some of the mall developers in the Philippines have also expressed their interest in the city such as Gaisano Capital to name a few. High-end real estate developers, such as Philinvest and Vista Land, have started their residential projects in the city. The A. Brown Group is also developing another exclusive community with a nine-hole golf course. More low- and medium-cost housing projects are sprouting in the outskirts of the city evident of the city's strong market for shelter. Famous food brands have also opened shops in the city such as Jollibee, McDonald. S. Chowking, Greenwich, Mang I Nasal, Red Ribbon, Goldilocks, Pizza Hut, Jerry. S. Grill, Max. S. and Bose Coffee. KFC has finally opened since December 2016. As for the telecommunications infrastructure of the city, Smart Communications, Globe Telecom, PLDT and Bayontel are able to serve its ever-growing needs. 
Pre-colonial economy Butuan City is becoming one of the highlights of the tourism programs in the Philippines, as more and more people, both local and foreign, are discovering the wonders and secrets of this ancient and beautiful city. It is customary for any traveler to learn a little bit of history concerning the place that will be visited, and the history of Butuan City is one of the most fascinating. Unlike other lands whose development only began during the Spanish colonization, Butuan was already a progressive and full-fledged city centuries before the arrival of the Spaniards. Historical records show that as early as the 10th century, the local people were already engaged in trade and commerce with other nations and cultures, like the Champa now Vietnam, and the Srivijaya peoples of Java, Indonesia. This is confirmed by the unearthing of several artifacts such as boats used for plying their trade. During the Spanish and American occupation, Butuan continued to make progress and the number of people who were settling increased steadily. A large number of its inhabitants were converted to Christianity, and in fact one of the issues is whether the first mass was actually held in the city. Festivities and annual celebrations Kahamunan Festival the Kahamunan Festival is celebrated every third Sunday of January in celebration of the city patron senior. Sto, Nino. This celebration is a Butuanan version of Sinalig of Cebu City. Kahamunan is a Lumad term which means gathering. Balangay, Balanghai Festival. Butuan celebrates its annual fiesta, the Balangay Festival, for the celebration of the city patron St. Joseph every whole month of May, with the exact feast day of St. Joseph on May 19. The city holds many events such as Summer League Basketball Championship Games, Thanksgiving Mass, and more. Butuan Festival, the newest festival is a feast day celebration of St. Joseph, patron of Butuan, which is held every May 19. This was created last 2013 as replacement to Balangay Festival during the specific date. Both festivals will still celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph with Butuan focus on the church activities while Balangay will focus on the city government activities. Cultural Festivals The Cultural Festival Tourism Consciousness is a week-long celebration that lasts from the last week of July up to August 2 in celebration of the Charter Day of Butuan. Abayan Festival, the Abayan Festival, a part of the cultural festival, is held in celebration of St. Anne, patroness of Agusan River, which is celebrated every last Sunday of July. Palagzing Festival. Palagzing is a local delicacy popularly made in Banza, one of the old Poblacion of Butuan City. The popularity of making palagzing in Banza is attributed to the abundance of lumbia, metroxylon segu rot b, where una or lumbia starch is harvested from the palm tree. Another popular ingredient is young coconut meat. The mixture of una, young coconut and brown sugar make palagzing moist and chewy. They are delicately wrapped by banana leaves and are boiled for 30 minutes to create the soft consistency of palagzing. The Palagzing Festival usually held on Adla Hong Butuan celebration every second day of August. Adla Hong Butuan Adla Hong Butuan is the Charter Day celebration of Butuan, which includes a Thanksgiving Mass, Motorcade, Palagzing Festival, Street Party Recognitions of Outstanding Butuanans and City Government Employees Night. Una Festival, the Una Festival is usually held on Adla Hong Bon Trace celebration every third or fourth week of June. Tourism and Attractions Natural Attractions Agusan River, the Agusan River is the widest and most navigable river in Mindanao. Natives who live on the banks of this river pay tribute to their patroness, Senora Sta. Anna, St. Anne, every last Sunday of July in the Abayan Festival. Mount Mayape, looming southwest of the Agusan Valley is this majestic mountain plateau. It rises to 2,214 feet 675 meters above sea level. Mount Mayape got its name from the ancient Majapahit Empire. The history behind the Sri Vishaya period bears much meaning and influence of Butuan's pre-historic and archaeological discoveries. Man-made attractions Ramon Magsaysay Bridge, the old Magsaysay Bridge in Butuan, an arch-type steel bridge built during the early 60s spans the mighty Agusan River. 
For years this bridge serve as a lone vital conduit of the city to the rest of Mindanao Island until its new more modern pair came at the city's southern side. The bridge links the main urban center to eastern suburbs of Bon and Ampayan. Balangay boats, the Balangays or Balanghai, are ancient boats that were found in Butuan. They were excavated in the Balangay Shrine, across the Masao River from Bud Promontory. They played a major role in Butuan because Butuan was, and still is, a port city. Since its discovery, the Balangays have become an icon of Butuan. The Kaya Ng Pinoy, Inc. recreated the Balangay boats and have sailed it as part of their project, the Balangay Voyage. So far they have only sailed around Southeast Asia. They are planning to sail around the world. Balangay Shrine Museum, the Balangay Shrine Museum, located in Brigi. Libertad, lays the graveyard of the Balangay 1 dated 320 AD or 1688 years old. The Balangay Shrine Museum is located at Balanghai, Libertad, Butuan City. This wooden plank build and edge, pegged boats measured an average of 15 meters in length and 3 meters wide across the beam. To date, nine Balangays have already been discovered in Ambangan, Libertad. Three have been excavated and others are still in sight. National Museum, Butuan City Branch, this museum is the repository of historical and cultural materials and artifacts that proves Butuan's prehistoric existence and rich cultural heritage. There are two exhibit galleries. The Archaeological Hall and Ethnological Hall specimens of stone crafts, metal crafts, wood crafts, potteries, goldsmith, burial coffins, and other archaeological diggings are exhibited. At the Ethnological Hall are exhibits of contemporary cultural materials the Butuanan or every Filipino for matter used for a living. Guingona Park, Guingona Park is the native name for that park. Changes of government, however, resulted in a change of name to Rizal Park. It was contended that Rizal went there and that they named the park after him. Recently, the government of Butuan City headed by Mayor Amanti reconstructed the park and put the name back to Guingona, as it was he who donated the said park some decades past. Delta Discovery Park Delta Discovery Park is a newly opened zip line in Butuan. Delta Discovery Park is at Brigi. Bonbon, Butuan City. A hidden paradise in the heart of the city, it is also known as the longest zip line in Mindanao and in Asia with a length of 1.3 kilometers. Bud Promontory Eco Park, this historic hill is believed to have been the site where Magellan and his men celebrated the first Catholic Mass on Philippine soil and erected a cross when he landed in Mazawa on March 31, 1521. The highest elevation nearest the seaside village of present-day Masao. Bud is a wooded area at a bend in the Masao River, El Rio de Butuan, overlooking Butuan Bay and ancient Butuan as well as the serpentine Masao River. Today, the indigenous Hatlayati tree abound, lording over a clonal nursery and tree park, amidst fish ponds and archaeological treasures. According to the chronicles of Spanish historian Pigafetta, the event took place in the afternoon of March 31, 1521 after the Easter Mass was celebrated in the morning of the same date. Two Butuanan brother kings attended these Easter ceremonies. Pigafetta also noted the surrounding fields and Balanghai boats on the bay that could be seen from the hill. The Eco Park was established to provide the people of Butuan and its visitors a place to rekindle the past amidst a relaxing natural setting. Local government The local government of Butuan City is headed by an elected mayor and is considered to be the local chief executive of the city. He exercises the general supervision and control over all programs, projects, services, and activities of the city government. He is then accompanied by the law-making body of the city which is called, the Sangguniang Panlungsod headed by the elected vice mayor as the presiding officer, together with 1010 10 elected Sangguniang Panlungsod members and the president of the Liga ng MGA Barangay as an ex-officio member. City officials Elected officials 2016-2019 Executive Mayor, ENGR Ronnie Vicente Lagnada Vice Mayor, Jose S. Aquino II Presiding Officer Legislative 13th Sangguniang Panlungsod Members Omar Andaya Remae Berdios Cherry Mae Busa 
Glen Karampatana Ferdinand Nalcott Cromwell P. Nortega Derek A. Plaza Vincent Rizal Rosario Ernest John Sanchez John Gil Unay Sr. Nestor D. Amora, ABC Liga ng MGA Barangay President. Barangay Council Association of Barangay Captains, Liga ng MGA Barangay President, Nestor D. Amora, Brigi. Banza Vice President, Vacant Position Sanguniang Kabatan Federation President, Vacant Position Vice President, Vacant Position out. Due to the postponement of Sangguniang Kabatan SK elections in 2013, there was no set of SK chairperson for each barangay. Hence, there was no election of officers for the Sangguniang Kabatan Federation Butuan City Chapter. The positions, thus, will remain vacant until SK elections will be held again. Education Being the regional center of Caraga, Butuan is also the region's center of education. There are two universities in the city. The first, Father Saturnino Urios University, a privately run school founded by Rev. Fr. Urios, S.J. in 1901. The second, the Caraga State University, Main campus, formerly known as the Northern Mindanao State Institute of Science and Technology, is a state-run school founded in 1918. They are among the top two performing universities in the region. Butuan City is known for its education competence. Proof of these are in awards earned. Teachers and school staff of the Butuan Central Elementary School, Butuan City Sped Center and Agusan National High School have large-scale exposure to specialization techniques, as well as seminars and workshops to complement, with partnerships like Philippine-Australia Project on Basic Education Probe. There are also Chinese schools in the city like the Timber City Academy and Butuan Faith Christian School. National high schools include the Agusan NHS, Tungao NHS, San Vicente NHS, Libertad NHS and Ampayan ISS Integrated Secondary School. The city is also home of the Butuan City School of Arts and Trades BCSAT, a specialization school in the fields of arts and in vocational courses. As an education hub, Butuan has colleges with a variety of courses. Examples are the Agusan College, Inc., AMA Computer Learning Center, ACLC, Butuan Doctors College, St. Joseph Institute of Technology, Agusan Business and Arts Foundation, Agusan Institute of Technology, Asian College Foundation, Belight Institute of Technology, Butuan, Butuan City Colleges, Butuan City Liga College, Korjesu Computer College, Elisa R. Ochoa Memorial Northern Mindanao School of Midwifery, Father Urios Institute of Technology of Ampayan, Inc., Grand View College, Holy Child Colleges of Butuan City, Philippine Electronics and Communication Institute of Technology, St. Peter College Seminary, and the Sunrise Christian College Foundation of the Philippines. Big private universities like the Ateneo, De La Salle Philippines and Iglesia Ni Cristo owned New Era University NOI, have expressed to put up local branches. Other schools include Enfant Sherry Study Center, Rainbow of Angels Learning Center, Solid Rock Shiloh Mission Academy, Ampayan Central Elementary School, Angelica Montessori School, Butuan Christian Community School, Florencio R. Sabayan Central Elementary School, Libertad Central Elementary School, Abrero Elementary School, and the Ong Yiu Central Elementary School. Infrastructure Transportation Air. The Butuan National Airport, called Bangkasi Airport, serves the general area of Butuan City, located in the province of Agusan del Norte in the Philippines. It is the only airport in the province and largest in the Caraga region. The airport is classified as a trunkline airport, or a major commercial airport, by the Air Transportation Office, a body of the Department of Transportation and Communications that is responsible for the operations of not only this airport but also of all other airports in the Philippines except the major international airports. 
It also serves more than 400,000 travelers yearly that includes 250,000 local and foreign tourists. Butuan National Airport can also accommodate 5 to 10 flights a day including large number of aircraft via Cebu Pacific and Philippine Airlines operated by PAL Express. C. As a regional commercial and economic hub, the port of Masao is Butuan Seaport. It was built to avoid having the city depend on the port of Nasipit, Agusan del Norte. The said port will be having more expansion and development to become a seaport with international standards in the region and in Mindanao. Land The main modes of transportation within the city proper is the orange tricycle which can accommodate up to six or seven passengers. Another mode of transportation is the small type jeepneys or multicab vehicles with a seating capacity of at least 15 passengers via fixed routes going to big barangays such as Bangkasi, Libertad, Ampayan, Los Angeles and De Oro. Jeepneys, vans and buses is also available in Jeepney Terminal, New Integrated Van Terminal and City Integrated Bus Terminal respectively located Langahan Public Area. They also follow fixed routes to outlying barangays, neighboring towns, municipals, cities and provinces. Long-distance routes also include cities of Manila, Ormoc, Legazpi, Tacloban, Surigao, Tandig, Bislig, Mangagoy, Davao City, Tagum, Cagayan de Oro, Carmen, Balingon, Gingug and Malaybalay. Mayor Democrito O Plaza 2 Avenue Circumferential Road and Diosdado Macapagal Bridge the said circumferential is a 14-kilometer diversion road from Brigi. Bangkasi to the southern part of the city proper crossing to a PP 2.1 billion Diosdado Macapagal Bridge to the main highway in Bon KM.3 and in Brigi. Antingalan. The Diosdado Macapagal Bridge is the longest bridge in Mindanao, which is 0.3 kilometers upstream of the old Magsaysay Bridge and provides an alternate route across the Agusan River to connect the Philippine-Japan Friendship Highway, Surigao Agusan Davao Road, and the Butuan City Cagayan Iligan Road. The bridge is gaining popularity as the only cable-stayed bridge with steel deck and single tower in Mindanao, and it has a total length of about 0.806 kilometers. It was during the presidency of Joseph Estrada that the project was approved which was lobbied by the city government way back President Fidel Ramos' time to decongest the traffic of the more than 50-year-old Magsaysay Bridge and create an alternate route. However, it was President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo who approved and implemented the project. The bridge was funded through a special yen loan package from Japan Bank for International Cooperation, JBIC. The project was started on May 6, 2004 and completed in May 2007. New Circumferential Road and four, four new bridges proposed. The New Circumferential Road consists of 20-kilometer two-lane road and four, four new bridges that connects Brigi. Sumalihan to Brigi Banza which crosses two small rivers, Tagibo and Banza, before crossing to the third bridge in Agusan River and connects to Brigi. Pagatpatan to Brigi. Lumbokan then crosses again in Masao River to reach Brigi. Masao and Brigi. Pinamanculan before connecting to the national highway in Brigi. Bangkasi. The proposed circumferential road will be worth close to PP 2.9 billion. Butuan City Malaybalay Road The secondary road, known as the Butuan City Malaybalay Road, is scheduled to complete in the future connecting Butuan to Malaybalay via Esperanza, Agusan del Sur. Sports and Recreation with new developments surrounding the old unfinished sports complex facility, the city government has transferred the sports complex from the 8-hectare complex in Brigi. Libertad to the 38-hectare complex in Brigi. Tiniwizan, Ampayan. The said complex is worth P250 million for Phase 1 will be one of the biggest international standard complex in the Philippines. Phase 1 consists of a 4,000-seater football main bleacher, a 4,000-seater basketball gymnasium, grass football field, and a rubberized track oval. The Phase 1 of the Polysports Complex was officially opened in 2015. Phase 2 will consist of a second main bleacher, an Olympic-size swimming pool, and a baseball-softball field with bleachers. Notable people Edelmiro A. Amante Sr., former Executive Secretary of Prez. Fidel V. Ramos, former Congressman and Governor of Agusan del Norte 2nd District. 
Susan Fuentes, The Queen of Asayan Songs, 1954 to 2013. She popularized the songs like Matted Nila, Yusahe, Miss Kita Kung Christmas and Roses Pandan. Susan Kalo Medina, host of Travel Time, ABS CBN News Channel, and Tipong Pinoy, a culturally oriented show aired by GMA Network in 1998. Loris Guillen, award-winning film director and actress, also the wife of the actor Johnny Delgado, deceased. Jacette Campo Atade, known as Silvia Sanchez. She is an actress of ABS CBN. Originally, she is from Nasapit, Agusan del Norte. Dante Javalosa Luzon, veteran anchor and broadcaster. He was the former anchor of TV Patrol Cebu, now TV Patrol Central Visayas, TV Patrol Southern Mindanao, News Central Davao, Studio 23 Davao, and TV Patrol Dumaguete. Presently, he is now with DYRC. Seth Go Khe, member, player of the Pilipinas Aguilat National Tackle Football Team. Artie Larong, small forward, shooting guard of Alaska Aces in the Philippine Basketball Association PBA. Marky Cielo, actor of GMA Network. He died so young at the age of 20 on December 7, 2008 in Antipolo City, Rizal. The cause of his death is still unknown. Charito Booc Plaza, she was known as the Mother of Caraga Region. Since she was the author of the bill creating Caraga as the 17th region of the Philippines. She was also the former congresswoman of the 1st District of Butuan City. And she is currently the Brigadier General of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Reserve Force. She is also the wife of the former city mayor Figurado Plaza Sr. Stephanie Stefanowitz, she represented Butuan in the Miss Philippines Earth 2010. In 2012, she joined Miss Philippines Earth and won the title as Miss Philippines Earth 2012 but she represented Quezon City. She grabbed the title as first runner-up in the Miss Earth 2012 pageant held in the country. Her mother is from Barangay Ampayan, Butuan City and her father is from Hamburg, Germany. Lieutenant Gen. Hernando D.C.A. Ariberi, the former Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines from 2015 to 2016. He is not from Butuan City but an alumnus of Fr. Saturnino Urios University High School Department. Jason James Dye, the Grand Champion of the Voice of the Philippines Season 2. Roy Seniors, Presidential Candidate of 2016 National and Local Elections. He was the representative of the OFW Club Party List from 2013 to 2016. He was also the ambassador to the United Arab Emirates during Fidel Ramos' administration. Sister cities Local Sisterhood Pact Baguio, since 16 May 2011 via SP Res. No 403-2011 Cebu City, since 27 June 2011 via SP Res. No 493-2011 and Lapu Lapu since the 27th of June 2011 via SP Res. Number 493A2011. Iligan since the 8th of August 2011 via SP Res. No 538-2011. Malaybalay. Bayugan. Makati since the 13th of June 2011 via SP Res. No 419-2011. Maragusan, Compostela Valley, since 18 July 2011 via SP Res. No 527-2011. Dumaguete, since 2 September 2013 via SP Res. No. Underscore 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 minus 2013. Gallery. See also Agusan del Norte Carago Rajanate of Butuan Roman Catholic Diocese of Butuan List of Mayors and Vice Mayors of Butuan List of Butuan City Officials 
List of radio stations in Butuan. References External links Butuan City Government Website Butuan City on Facebook